Morning. A bit foggy here in South Yorkshire today. Oh, I've had to drag myself here today. Um, yeah, not feeling great. Becky didn't feel great when she had this virus thing. And I think the uh, the the bad part's coming now. Um, but anyway, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I need to get that drilling finished. Uh, I've got some spraying to do if it stays um, stays right. And yeah, all the cows need feeding, so got to get myself here. Not looking forward to climbing over this gate, but anyway. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing some drilling, hopefully, spraying, um, feeding cows. Got to do that, haven't we? The need feeding every day, need bedding up every day. And um, yeah, it's just me and my dad, so it's going to be busy. Uh, in fact, I might knock the spraying on the head. Might just be the drilling. Islands are snuggled up in the corner of the field. All that mist behind. Nice. If you like this farming stuff, remember to press that like button and uh, subscribe if you've not already. And share it with your friends. Um, right, I better go and jump on the straw blow because no Andy, so it's my job today. So she's parked there with a little loader off now. A lot of people happy now that we've took the loader off. Um, it does make it a bit more nimble to be honest around the yards. So right now I'm just cutting and pulling the bands. Get them out. Oh, missed one. There we go. So they don't get wrapped around the rotors and make a mess. Blasting the straw out now. As we do every morning. Just to keep these guys bedded down nice and clean. Keep them happy. So I've just let me dad in a few other pens. Now I'd better drive round and uh, get some straw in round the middle. Oh, I'm not feeling good. These guys are coming to look after me though. Aren't you? Hey. Hello, mister. Lovely, aren't you? Hmm? Hey, aren't you lovely? So my dad's just going in now with a spreader bale. He's going to straw these guys up. Keep them happy in here. So I've just strawed these up again. This one looks like he's got his winter coat on. On his back. And uh, yeah, just got a few bales of air to put out. Need one in the funny feeder. One in this pen, a few more around the yards. Um, I think I'm gonna have a drink first. I'm starting to feel marginally better. Like when I came to work this morning, I was like 25%, uh, if that. Like, really had to drag myself here. And now I'm probably about 50. Nah, no, probably about 60, but um, yeah. Nearly as bad as like a terrible hangover. How it feels. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, it do not last too long. I've got a big day tomorrow. So, my dad's getting off with the drill now to finish that field that I was doing the last couple of days. Just because I don't think I feel particularly up to it. Rather, he did it. So, today it's Remembrance Sunday in the UK um, at 11 o'clock. Um, we all stop and have a minute's silence to remember fallen soldiers um, that have lost their lives, uh, not just in the First and Second World War, but in, in all wars and conflicts that we've been um, involved in. Um, yeah, it just gives me a bit of time to reflect and, and respect what, what them people have given up, um, lost their lives, injured, um, so that we can live a, a, a free life here in the UK. Yeah, with all our freedoms, I can just go out with my tractor and plow the fields. I mean, look at Ukraine now. All the fighting that's gone in there. Farmers risking their lives just trying to get crops established. Um, so yeah, just, just wanted to say a little bit on it, really. 
I mean, I wish that they'd stop having these wars, but throughout history, it's always been a thing that human beings have done. And we don't seem to learn those lessons and they keep happening, don't they? Um, so yeah, massive respect to them people that keep us safe. I'll, I'm quite happy to just be nice and safe farming. Maybe just a bit of a dodgy cow here, they're all there. I ain't got somebody, a gun pointed in me face or bullets flying towards me. Um, yeah, I got an easy life compared to them guys. So. Right, I'm gonna get on now anyway and do um, a mix to keep these cows going. And um, yeah, feeling a little bit better now. Business. So, sorry, it's not really like farming content, is it? But I think just sometimes when it's something as important as that, something just needs to be said a little bit. So, we're just uh, filling this mix up now with some straw, chopping it up. We'll get this tipped in. Just see the hair flicking around in the top. Got quite a few ingredients going in a minute. Hay, straw, maize, bread, traffic gold, molasses, sugar beet pulp. Yeah, it's, uh, I, think I don't think I've missed anything. Got loads of little different bits and bobs to put in. But what I'll do is I'll leave that straw in here just chopping as the pieces of bread down to small pieces at the minute because it's quite long and it doesn't push the bucket right. And it's also better for the cow if it is so that sort of size, chop to that size, perfect. So right now I'm just fetching the bales round, getting these set up ready for tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning is going to be busy so everything needs to be pre-set up. Um, so yes yeah, so we're not wasting any time. I read a pretty cool comment uh, yesterday from, I think it was Henry, Henry Ashcroft, um, said that he flew over the farm the other day in like a, well, I don't know what it was, in a plane, um, I'm from Barton Airport, it's just like a grass airstrip just outside of uh, Manchester, I was circling the farm. Didn't see him, but um, pretty cool, fine. Yeah. If anybody fancy doing that, yeah. just, just go around a few times, we'll wave. <laughs> Why Maybe that was what the, uh, the big Chinook helicopter was doing. Yeah. Right, um, I'm gonna get some more stuff put in this mixer now anyway, it should be nicely chopped up. There it is, look, that's all nicely chopped. We'll uh, get the rest of the ingredients put in. So I've just topped the mixer up to halfway, so we've got a full pre-mix ready for this afternoon. I've just knocked the mixer off so that we can do mixer mentions. Now, this is a little thing, if you're new to my channel, um, we try and raise a little bit of money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance and people who want to get a mention on the mixer or want to get a mention for a loved one, for whatever reason it is at all, can um, go to Just Give In. Uh, there's a link in the description below and get your name on the mixer, mixer mention. Today it is a happy birthday to Helen Parry and that's from your husband, Roger. And also a happy 20th birthday to Robert Holt. So, um, yeah, I hope you've had um, both had a great birthday and happy birthday to anybody else whose birthday is today. Um, over £2,000 now raised for the air ambulance, which is fantastic. It means that we can save people's lives getting into rural locations. Really helps farmers out, really helps people that are out in the countryside whether they're a farmer or not like motorcyclists if they have an accident and things like that get them to the hospital hospital as quick as possible and that's what the air ambulance does completely charity funded none of the money comes to me it goes straight to the charity by the way anyway right i'm gonna go and have my Sunday dinner in a minute i think it's time to get a bit hungry I'm gonna have a few more paracetamol as well I keep going on about this don't i but I'm feeling rough all right so we just had his dinner, my dad's just putting a bit more diesel in the 210R and we've got to get some seed in the back as well. Um, I need to get in there to be able to, to get the bag in. So I've just got in the Scania now, uh, we've got a lot of cattle going this afternoon. 
Um, so I'm gonna get it backed up and then my dad's gonna take them. Um, yeah, so I've got all the cow passports here, there to go. So every cow has its own passport so that you know where it's been, so the government can track where they are for like disease purposes and because governments like tracking things. Um, yeah, it's a bit like us. Not got a picture, we've just got a, a number that they have in their ear tags and then a number on the passport. Yeah. So I've got my dad set off now with that load of cattle. He's taking them in. It's got around to sort of evening feeding up time. I've got to feed out that mix that's there. Probably not going to have enough to finish um, feeding everywhere, so I'll have to get the mix started and um, put that out as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, it's nice to see we've got some partridge in the yard. French partridge, I think, red legged ones. Come to eat some barley, feed with the cows. Waddling along, though. Oh, top of the hill, top of the hill. King of the castle. Why do they go to right to the top? Pretty things, aren't they? Do you like partridge? Let us know in comments if you like partridge. There we go. Just got all the feeding done. Better shut these gates. Um, Still got a mix to do. Uh, so yeah, that'll be fun. Get that done just so that um, it's a bit easier for Andy and M because I'm not going to be in the yard most of the morning. Um, so they're going to have a lot to do. So here we are, just putting them molasses in. The TM is a weapon, isn't it? Eh? It is nice to drive as well. Might be a bit mucky though. I had any uh, washy tractor Joe comments for quite a while. I'm surprised, that's all I used to ever get. Joe, your tractor needs a wash. Maybe it just everybody accepts that my tractors are dirty now, I don't know. Is that the case? I'm not sure. It's beeping at me because I don't want my seatbelt on. So I think this is just about where I'm going to end today's video. Um, I'm going to go in, have a cup of tea. Don't normally drink tea, but I'm going to have a cup of tea tonight. And um, get an early night, I think, because uh, I need to be well enough for tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, sorry if today's video has not been up to usual standards. Um, but, yeah, if anybody has liked it, then <laughs> make sure you press the like button, because I don't think there'll be many today. Um, and me, Andy and Em, will see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you, bye.